You just told me some high spots in your memories. Want to hear mine? They're all connected with the sea. Here's one when I was on the square at Square Rigger, bound for Buenos Aires. Full moon in the trades, and the old hooker driving 14 knots. I lay on the bowsprit facing the stern. The water foaming into spume under me. The masts with every sail white in the moonlight, towering high above me. I became drunk with the beauty and singing rhythm of it. And for a moment I lost myself, actually lost my life. I was set free. I dissolved in the sea. Became white sails and flying spray. Became beauty and rhythm. Became the ship and the moonlight and the high, dim starred sky. I belonged without past or future, within peace and unity and a wild joy to something greater than my own life or the life of man, to life itself. To God, if you want to put it that way. And several other times in my life, when I was swimming far out or lying alone on a beach, I've had the same experience. Became the sun, or the hot sand, or green seaweed anchored to a rock, swaying in the tide. Like a saint's vision of beatitude. Like the veil of things as it seems drawn back by an unseen hand. For a second you see and seeing the secret are the secret. For a second there's meaning. And then the hand lets the veil fall and you're alone, lost in the fog again. It's a great mistake my being born a man. I would have been much more successful as a seagull or fish. As it is, I'll always be a stranger who can never really feel at home, who does not really want not really wanted, can never really belong, and who must always be a little in love with death. Mm. Yes, you have the makings of a poet in you, all right. The makings of a poet? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm afraid I'm like the guy who's always panhandling for a smoke. He hasn't even got the makings, he's only got the habit. I couldn't touch what I was trying to tell you just now. I only stammered. It's the best I'll ever do, I mean, if I live. <laughs> That's faithful realism, at least. Stammering's the native eloquence of us fog people. 